this video is sponsored by Melodics. 808 basses, yeah, they're cool. But when you're making R&B, sometimes it calls for more. You know, it calls for something more substantial, like a fat analog synth bass line. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to write those fat R&B bass lines, those quintessential R&B bass lines. I promise that's the last time I'm saying quintessential. And I'm going to show you step by step how I write my bass lines from finding the key and the root notes all the way to the embellishments and things that make it sound like R&B. So if that sounds good to you, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and let's jump in. Cool. So I've got this loop going. It's a reverse guitar. and this is the situation you would often be in. You know, you've got your chords down or you've got your melody down and you need to write a bass line. So the first thing you need to do is establish the key if you don't already know. So the quickest way to find the key of any song is to just play notes on the keyboard and see which notes fit. And from there, once we found the notes that fit, we can establish what key it's in. Okay, so let's start. Those notes go. That C is off. Let's make it a sharp C instead. It works. That F is off also. Make it a sharp and it works. So all of those notes work. I know my scales, so I know that D major has those notes. That works. However, it sounds like we're in a minor key. So let's play the relative minor of D major instead, which will be B minor. Yeah. All right, so from there, what we want to do is establish our root notes. So there's much room for experimentation in music. That is fair. However, when you know a bit of theory, you can almost have more of a formulatic approach sometimes, uh, just to speed up the process. I know what key I'm in. I know how this loop sounds. I know that these notes are going to sound good with it. It's just formula. So we start on the one, which is a B. Let's go an octave up. So I'm playing the root, three, six, seven. These may not necessarily be the root notes of what's playing, but the bass often being the lowest note has such an influence on the way a chord sounds. Cool, so what I'm doing here is literally playing the semitone below the note that I want to arrive at as a leading note to that note. So for our first note, we have B to our D, but we can play the C sharp in between as a leading note to that D. Which adds a bit of tension and release. The second time around, what I did is I added in a sharp seven. Now that sharp seven is something we use a lot in R&B. It's from the harmonic minor scale. So in the beginning, we played a natural minor scale, which is. However, R&B often uses a harmonic minor scale with the sharp seven. So we can often use that sharp seven in place of the natural seven, or we can use both in conjunction as a nice walk up to our root note. You've heard it many a time before. So 
So those are some cool passing notes. However, let's make it more interesting and start adding in two five ones, which are synonymous with R and B. So every note in a scale has a number. So in our B natural minor scale, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the term 251 is literally just referring to those notes within that scale. So in the scale of B minor, our two would be C sharp and our five would be F sharp and our one would be B. I'm sure you've heard that many a time before, but this 251 can be played anywhere on the keyboard. However, it's always relative to the landing note. On our second time round, we're gonna land on a G. So we take the 251 from the G major scale or the G minor scale. It doesn't matter, our 251 is gonna be the same whether it's major or minor. So in the G major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, two, five, one. All right, so let's put that together. Two, five, one. Two five one. Two five one. Two five one. We can do it anywhere. See, it works anywhere. We did it on the D that time, so. For D, our two five one will be E, E, A, D. There are other leading notes we can do as well. We can also do the semitone above leading down. The next step for me is to expand the bass. And when I say expand the bass, I'm talking about expanding its range across the keyboard, giving it a bit more prominence and a bit more license and freedom. Now this is not for every song. Sometimes you want a simple bass, but when you really want to go to town, these are some tips that will help you get there. So I want to get to the lower octave to add a bit more beef to the track. And it's always a good idea to use the notes in between as a vehicle to get there. It sounds okay if you just jump from one octave to the next. But you see that that, that jump is missing something. It just doesn't sound cohesive. So we can use the notes in between to get us there. A good set of notes to use is the root, the fifth of that root, and the root again. So let me show you. Yeah? That gets us there. We can add even more notes in between though, to make sure it fits. Ooh. And we're just using the notes in the scale to get there. We can use a number of notes. All right, so that sounds really good. And it's always a nice touch to do a run into a 2-5-1. It gives the 2-5-1 that much more impact, I think. And let's add another run into another 251 just to show you how that can sound. Ooh, see, that sounds really dope. That run right there, I think LMA uses that run in um, Booed Up or DJ Mustard, uh, whoever produced it uses that run. Cool, so let's just vibes and let's add in a few of the different elements that I showed you to show you how you can pull it all together to create a nice fat R&B bass line. So 
so throughout that whole thing we literally came out of the key once well we used the harmonic minor scale once but for everything else we stayed within the natural minor scale so from the beginning we used our scales to find the key then we used our scales to find our root notes that we wanted to play on the bass then we further used our scales to adding our passing notes our two five ones and our runs so throughout this whole thing we have been using scales 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 what does that tell you it tells you that you need to learn your scales. You can start with your natural minor and your major scales. And once you've learned those, I'm telling you, it unlocks the door to so much from writing bass lines to writing melodies, chord progressions, and everything in between. So if you need to learn and practice your scales, that's where today's sponsor comes in, Melodics. Melodics is a music software or music app that gives you the tools to learn the keyboard. It comes with exercises showing you the correct notes to play within each scale and showing you the correct fingering to use, which is always good practice. <laughs> It covers every major and minor scale, as well as other exercises to help with the dexterity of your fingers. Fingering is very important, especially when it comes to doing your runs. And having the correct fingering makes it a lot easier to perform these runs. Yes, you can find this information for free online. I will not lie to you. However, the beauty of Melodics is that it keeps you accountable, letting you know how many reps you've done, what scales you've actually covered and how many reps you've done of those scales, as well as prompting you to practice on a daily basis. It has a built-in metronome, which is always good to practice with. However, you can actually uh, change the backing track as well to make it a little bit more fun or to vary your practice. As well as exercises like scales, it actually comes with full-on lessons to help you with your playing. From grade one all the way to grade 15, as well as courses, and a guided section for beginners. I'm currently using Melodics Daily. I'm on a 30 day challenge. As you can see, I've already completed a seven day streak and I'm on my way to a 10 day streak in a few days. So I urge you, if you want to start writing R&B bass lines and you want to start writing R&B uh, melodies or for any genre for that matter, I urge you to start to learn your scales and Melodics is a great place to start. It's free to get started, but they've also hooked me up with a special link and discount code, which you can find down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this. I've been Stefan, and as always, happy beat making.